the resurrection of doom. You are no match. Surrender or be destroyed. It is often wise for a man to pick and choose his battles throughout life. Some things are not worth fighting for. You are not worth Other things are worth dying for. Challenge me will fail. And one of the things that I've discovered along my journey is as we go through life in this screwed up dimensional, chaotic, beautiful <laughs> dream slash nightmare called life, we tend to encounter individuals who seem to be based on a lower level degenerate type Get of frequency. Black ass out of here. We seem to encounter individuals who have the ability to affect our lives in some positive but also negative ways. <laughs> Mere child's play. Which is strange Come to me here, because boy. you would think that at 2020, you know, in our lives, with all this technology we have, we would have smarter, more intelligent, more capable people. Yet really, we're surrounded by idiots, Jezebels, <laughs> whoremongers, thieves, killers, pedophiles, and so many other negative things. Doom does not quarrel with lesser men. We're surrounded by these individuals as good men who just want to live our lives and take care of our responsibilities. You see, I have a responsibility to my son, to the people I care about, to this world. I have a responsibility to me. And you men out there who are listening, you have a responsibility to you, to yourself. Be good to yourself. Never let these females with their fuckery get you in jail or get you into your feelings or your emotions. See, I started my channel talking about my pain. You don't have to like me. My channel was all about my pain and how I how I found a remedy to my pain by traveling abroad, getting my passport and getting the hell away from this chaotic, black ass out of uh, unnatural situation we have here in America with, you know, females oh. fucking around and, Your child's play. you know, simps, Captain Save a Hose coming out of the blue, attacking good men who just want to defend themselves and just want to live their life, perhaps with someone who is... I guess equally mentally balanced, if that makes sense. You know, at this point, I'm not searching, I'm not looking, I'm not even thinking about any of these females out here, any of these walking traps, because that's what it is. You know, I got caught up in this drama with this baby mama Doom does not quarrel. five years ago. I was living like a simp making simple ass mistakes because I knew no better. I was sheltered while I was in the military. I kept a military structure about me. I didn't know much about the outside world because I kept my ass on base. I stayed away from crazy females. I avoided the craziness and I, I found purpose. I stayed on my purpose. My purpose was being a United States Marine, a sergeant to my Marines and taking care of the platoon, taking care of my men. That was my purpose. So therefore, when I was on my purpose, I had no time or no room for distractions. Message. You are no match. Message. When you are on your purpose, you have limited time, very little room for distraction. When you're truly on your grind, you cannot be moved. You're like a juggernaut. <laughs> You are an unstoppable force, an immovable object. And see, I lost my way five years ago, which opened the gates for me to have a son with 
this incredibly stupid, narcissistic, fucking ghetto ass female. I was not thinking with the head between my shoulders. And now I'm paying the price. Surrender or be destroyed. I'm paying the price because now I'm dealing with child support and courts and all this other shit. And I'm making this video to not only uh, educate you men out there on the wickedness that's happening out there. It's happening a lot. You see it around you. I don't need to beat a, beat a, no, a dead horse, as they say. Because you see it around you every day. You see it happening in the news, how these, these millionaires, uh, uh, superstar players, uh, some people are actors, how they're being taken to the cleaners nowadays. 2020 has showed the full vision of what's going on. And it's time for us men to wake up. You know, my actions brought forth a life, my son. Which I am responsible for. The resurrection. But I am responsible for his life. Whether I'm in it every day or not, I am responsible for his life. And I have been a responsible father since day one. I've always supported my kid. I said whatever money I had to the point where I was eating ramen noodles and peanut butter sandwiches. I lived off that just so my kid can have the last two, three hundred bucks that I had in my pocket. And it still wasn't enough for his mother. She wanted more. Even though she worked a full-time gig and was getting benefits from the, the state, she wanted more. She was greedy. So out comes the dogs, child support. And let me tell you, man, these are the crookedest bastards on the face of the earth. It's literally a war on men. You go into them courts and automatically, based on your agenda, you automatically got one strike against you. But you gotta play the fuckery games. You gotta play coming back and forth. You might be lucky enough to get it dismissed the first time, but don't count on it right now during COVID, okay? Right now during COVID, what's happening, and I see what happening is they're still trapping brothers in the system. You go in there, you show proof that you've been a good father. Now you gotta beg to be in your kid's life, or you gotta beg to not be taken to the cleaners, and you still get taken to the cleaners. You just lost your manhood in there. Yeah. A lot of men go up in there and fight the fight. Some come out successful and some just stay in there and keep fighting the fight. But a lot of men haven't been to war three, four times, six times. You get sick of it. You get sick of fighting with the demons. And, then, and when you can just let the fight be on your terms. What do I mean by that? Be prepared, man. Be mentally prepared by not playing the game at all. Avoid these females as much as possible. Focus on your purpose. I'm here to tell you firsthand, when you don't focus on your purpose, shit happens. And before you know it, you're caught up like I was caught up, like I am caught up dealing with this, this stressful situation of child support bullshit. And fuck, what can you do but pay it? Take a dip on the chin. Either way, you're going to pay something. No man walks away unscathed. Why deal with the bullshit? My son is five. I'll be paying at least for the next 13 years and then, and then some because he'll always come to dad when he needs something. So it ain't even about the money. Fuck the money. I don't mind paying it. Even though I can't afford it, I, I, I will pay it to see my son. That's the price of doing it deals with demons this ain't the first time that I've dealt with the devil Boom. remember 12 years in the military first contract I signed that made me a slave was signing up for the military but we're born under contract your mother your father 
put you under a birth certificate or a social security number, you made a deal with the devil. You're in the you're in the game. They sold you. They made a deal with the devil. Correction. They made a deal with the devil and sold you. It's some old rumple still skin shit. Child's play. Come here, boy. This is a, this ain't the typical red pill video talking about female fuckery. This is talking about some knowledge, man. This is this is staying up on your square. Let me be your sacrifice. I'm already in this shit, but you don't have to be. This ain't about just protecting yourself wearing a condom or watching out for particular females. This is about putting your ass on your purpose now so that you're so into your purpose. You're so into being successful. You're so into making your dreams come true. Who does not quarrel with lesser men? That you, you don't even see through. You, you see through all the fuckery already. You're not even interested in these fucking females. You're more interested in making your millions. Making your life better. Fulfilling your dreams. Living your purpose. That's what this video is about. I recently had this brother complain about, you know, my background music or get your black ass. Listen, you don't like my videos, you don't like the style of it, you don't have to watch it. But he was just very rude, you know. Some brother came off of Instagram talking some shit or whatever, you know. And I just said, you know, I don't even feel like fighting with his energy. His energy was very, very demonic, very rude. I just said, yeah, yeah, you know what, brother. You could just delete my channel. Don't worry about it. He was complaining about me sending out too many videos, how he can't get work done. Well, fuck it, dude, block me. You're accepting it, you know? Let's move on like men. Let's stop fighting amongst each other. Why can't we seem to find some place where we're not competing against each other constantly, where we can work together? See, that's the trick, man. We've been taught to compete against one another. We don't need to compete. Or maybe some of those people who feel like they're, they're threatened, you know, which is not an alpha thing. You should never feel threatened by uh, the su success of another man or uh, the intellectual prow prowess that he has. You be you. Whatever you bring into the table can be uh, a, a, a unique part of the recipe for success. So why can't we work together? What is it in men that that causes us to, to look down on each other? What happened to the brotherhood? And maybe it doesn't exist out in this world no more, but I'm not used to that. See, I came out of the Marine Corps where brotherhood was really tight. And that's the one, one of the many few good things that I think I got out of the military. An inner standing of brotherhood. Villain. What happened to brothers supporting other brothers? How come it's so hard to get brothers to come over to a Patreon account and pay three bones, three dollars, to contribute to some videos that they watch weekly or twice a weekly or whatever? How hard is it to say support those who support you so we all can make a come up, so we all can do something together? See, until we get past this, men, we're giving them our power. Females are bonding these days. They got a sisterhood. And that's why they're whooping our ass in certain categories of life. Because they're taking care of each other. They're sticking together. Well, for the most part, a lot of them are. But a lot more than you see men sticking together. And this ain't just my opinion. Just look around you. How many men can you actually call your brother and say that they got your back when shit gets tough? When your money's running low? How many men will come forward for another brother and say, look, man, I got you, man. Don't worry about that. You just get me another time. Very few, very rare individuals. How many brothers will go out here and say, Hey, man, I understand you don't have the money right now, but look, I got it. I'm going to give it to you. You pay me back when you can. 
or hit me back through PayPal or whatever or uh, Venmo. Not many. How many brothers out there actually supporting content creators who are out here doing this, putting their life out here, getting out here, bringing you the, the actual footage, letting you in their world? You see what I mean? See, we're lacking a lot of things. So before someone comes to my channel and judge me, I challenge you to look at yourself. Look at yourself and tell me if you see perfection and be honest with yourself. Because if you don't see perfection, then don't expect that shit from me. Get your black ass out of here. We all make missteps. We all make mistakes. But not everybody gets the opportunity to fix those mistakes and move forward. If your life is like mine and you're just trying to take charge of it. To live a little better, to provide for your, your children. To be at peace after suffering from so much war. Then you can understand where I'm coming from. You'll feel my pain. You'll support my cause. I'm not asking for a lot. I'm just asking for brothers to care at least a little. At least a little. And watch us change the world. You are no match for my might. This is the villain. You are no match. And I'm out.